Right, hello, welcome to the new improved report, um, simple report video. Right, this will take you through how to create a simple report um, in Visual Studio uh, using the report viewer um, and it should replace the old one which didn't work too well because of all this stepping nonsense. Right, okay, let's let's get started. Right, before you start, what you need is a way of opening a form that you're going to put your report on. So I've got set up here uh, a link to report one which basically opens a form and it's going to be re FRM report simple. So it opens up this form here. Okay, so when I run it I can go so ready to open up a form here. I'm going to put the report on this form here. Okay, so give yourself some time to do that. Pause the video now and then we'll start from there. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is put the report viewer on this um, form I've created for it. So go to toolbox, find reporting, and chuck the report viewer on there. Okay, so that's set up and ready to go. Don't need to do anything more to that for a minute. Now, the next thing I've got to do is in my XSD or data set here is create a what's called a table adapter. Now that basically what that is is a query that can link together the two tables because we want to access stuff from not only TBL late but from student as well and, and that's going to be our, our, our data source for a report so not just one table but two tables. So I'm going to create a table adapter now and I'll pop this. Now this is basically saying put your connection settings which is what I want that's fine don't change that. Next I'm going to use SQL statements but I'm not going to create them myself because that would take ages so I'm going to use the query builder to do it and pretend I wrote them myself. So click add and close. Right, so there we go. Just check the relationship's okay and it is. Right, so I'll have student ID and student name from TBL student and from the other table. I don't want student ID, I've already got that late ID, not really. Period, date of late and minutes late. So this is going to be the, the source of my query and you can execute the SQL if you want to see what's going to happen there so I've got 23 records right so that's going to be the the data source for the query click OK I'm fine with that uh, click next and then next again and finish right and you should get that now what it's done I don't know why is that it's created a link between there and TBR students so I'm just going to remove that because that could cause problems next thing I'm going to do is rename that I'm going to call it Q for report simple. I'll do. Right, okay, so there it is, it's all done. I'm going to close that now. That'll force it to save it. Right, so now I've created my query. Now I can actually go ahead and design the report. So I've got my report viewer one here. I haven't changed anything. Right. So I'm going to click on the magic button top right hand corner here and click design a new report. So up pops this. Now the data source is going to come from that data set and in that data set we have those things there. We have TBL late, TBL student, don't worry about that, that's what I did earlier. Q for report simple. Now if you click on that you will see those are the fields I selected. Student ID, student name, period, date, late, minutes, late, that's fine. Click next. Right, now the first thing I'm going to do is row groups. So what I want it to do is actually display for each student all their lates. And I can get it to add up, possibly at the end. So I'm going to put student ID, student name there. And then I'm going to put the other three in here. Now, it automatically comes up with sum. You don't want to sum up the periods. That would just be pointless, so click off that. We do want to sum the minutes late, but we're not going to do that yet. So I'm going to click off the sum there for now. And then I'm going to go next. Now, the next bit is important. You just tick off all of these because it just looks bloody awful, to be honest, the way it comes out otherwise. So it's not going to show any grouping at the moment. OK, it'll just list them out, but that's fine. So click next. I'm happy with Ocean. There's my report. It's called Report 4. Um, that's because I've not deleted all my old ones I think. If I go to Solution Explorer, yeah I've still got some old ones on there but okay yours will be report one if it's the first one you've done. 
you, you could rename that if you wanted to. I can't be bothered. Right, so I'm going to close that. Now, I, even though I've done it, it's not actually linked up to that report yet, report viewer. So now I can do choose report. Let's report four. Now it's done some of this stuff down here. This is about it links it all up um, to the report viewer. Now, hopefully, on form load, you'll also notice some more code it's added. Um, that actually fills up the date, the data from the database, and this one actually refreshes the report. So now we should be in, ready to go. Hopefully, so let's close that and run it. Now, reports, report one. There we go. So it's 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 done the grouping, which is good. Um, I could have made the report a bit bigger, but what I'd like it to do is add up the minutes late first so I can say ah you've been late for Dave for you know a thousand minutes this year you're an idiot right so what I need to do then is modify the report itself to do that so I just stop that running go in solution explorer find report four now in here there's this this is uh, this is the actual thing we're talking about so you've got these row groups down here now what I want to do is if I click on student ID then add total after okay now automatically it's done some period don't really want the sum of the period to be honest that would just be pointless so I'm going to click on that and then try and delete that so press delete then it's already got some minutes left so I don't need to do anything with that so now I've just run it And the difference should be that we now have the sum of the minutes late down the bottom. Now what it's done it, it's done it for the right at the end, so it's the total sum of the minutes late. Now what I actually wanted there was it for each individual student. So to do that, what I should have done here was click details, add group, sorry, add total after now it will do it for each individual student notice that's coming just around the student that total is at the end right so again delete the sum period and now run it again so if you run it again now you should see it looks a bit better right there we go so now he's got the individual lates for that student uh, so 100, 805 for Dave which is exactly what you wanted. You can mess around with the this even more. You can put lines in and stuff like that to make it a little bit more fancy. But it, it the important bit is is to uncheck that last those last tick boxes because to be honest, they make life misery. They're rubbish. Okay, and that is how you create a simple report in Visual Studio, and that is it. Goodbye.